Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Daniela Rabiser, and I'm a technical product manager at Dynatrace. And I'm very happy to be here with you today uh, and share what we at Dynatrace think is key for successfully monitoring complex cloud applications. So um, you probably know that monitoring used to be a lot about looking at dashboards. So you developed your application, uh, deployed it in your environment, you deployed it either on-premises in your own data center or somewhere in, in the cloud, maybe on AWS, for example. And then you watched, you watched if anything happened uh, or if any threshold would throw an error message. So you probably stared <laughs> maybe on uh, dashboards showing graphs like, like you see on, on the screen here. Or you probably skimmed through some uh, application log messages looking for some keywords. Um, but the thing is, Modern monitoring, um, we at Dynatrace think that modern monitoring should go uh, beyond that. So you shouldn't have um, different agents to cover different technologies. So there should only be one agent. You shouldn't have lots of data, but no answers. So um, when you think of that, of that graph that I showed you, what would that mean? So you, this wouldn't provide you uh, any insight, any answer to problems that might, um, have been, that might have been available in your environment. And also, you won't um, go for or you shouldn't go for a solution that um, contains lots of duct tape that covers everything but is kind of like you know, uh, sticking together only via duct tape. And also, when thinking of deploying your monitoring solution, this should work smoothly for you. Um, and since we are here at the Red Hat Summit, of course, containers shouldn't be something uh, that your monitoring solution doesn't understand. And of course, it should just work for the enterprise cloud. So we at Danatrace think that modern monitoring um, should provide you with a holistic view of your environment. It should be AI powered. It should be fully automated when it comes to deployment. And it should, of course, be purpose built for the cloud. Because we all know that a healthy environment is something important. Um, it is important if you do have a small environment, but it, comes, it becomes highly relevant if you think of a big environment. So if you do have containers in place, if you do deploy your applications using, deplo uh, using containers, then the typical life of a container is maybe minutes, maybe hours, um, and not necessarily days or any longer. So given this kind of environment, given this kind of highly dynamic and distributed environment, uh, so it may become difficult for your monitoring solution um, to monitor the applications as the number of, of nodes, of containers are ever changing and also the numbers can get very big um, since enterprises are currently migrating applications from monoliths, uh, from monolithic applications to microservices. Um, and of course, containers um, are, are a big topic to support breaking up monolithic applications. Um, and when thinking of that, you can, um, course have um, like a thousand containers per nodes available and then your monitoring solution 
needs to scale with your environment as well. And when thinking about that, um, it may also come to your mind that container health, services health, and application health may be something different. So traditional monitoring uh, tools use, for instance, container APIs to provide an overview of container health. Though it is important to keep track, keep an eye of container health in terms of Docker stats, the Docker API, um, it is of course not sufficient to only focus on the container health only. Um, the most important thing is to measure the health of the services that are running inside a container. And it could very well happen uh, that the container health, that the Docker stats, for instance, may show healthy results, uh, but the services running inside the containers could be starving for, resus for resources, for instance. For example, if you run a Java process in the container, um, then it could be starved for CPU, and you may not, may not be able to spawn multiple threads to deliver the service faster. And more importantly, looking onto uh, application performance at a component level, at a container level, does not indicate the performance uh, of your application when it comes to user experience or the delivered service that the user um, is, is looking for. So everyone who has ever participated in an IT war room during a serious incident knows that everything can look okay at a component or container level, um, even when um, in like taking a holistic view, the results may be very poor. So um, if, if you think of, you know, the, the typical life of a container, um, then on an, on an infrastructure lev level, you may do some chaos monkey testing, for instance, to ensure that your infrastructure health um, is, is doing fine. On a container level, you could look for Docker stats, you could query the Docker API. On a microservices level, you could look for response times of your services, you could look for failure rates, you could look at CPU usage, you could look at the throughput. And of course, on an application uh, level, you could look at how are my users experiencing uh, the applications um, when you know visiting websites. Um, so with a monitoring solution, you should get all that um, you know different viewpoints uh, provided in one solution. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning, uh, you would probably look for a holistic view. And another um, angle to look at monitoring cloud environments is that deployment dependencies may be uh, different from microservices dependencies. So for instance, uh, with Dynatrace, we do cover both. So you will get uh, on the one hand side the deployment dependencies that you see on the left side of the screen. And you will also get microservices dependencies with what we call in Dynatrace the service flow. And when having a closer look at a service flow, um, you will also get insights into uh, the architecture of your microservices. You will notice uh, that two microservices that are split up currently are tightly coupled. And you may probably think about you know, combining these two services into one because they are so tightly coupled. So why split or distribute them um, onto two services? So we at Dynatrace think that in order to successfully monitor 
your cloud environment, monitoring needs to become, needs to be seen as a platform feature. So you should deploy, uh, and with Dynatrace you can deploy only one agent per host. Uh, this one agent will then take care of auto instrumentation of your containerized microservices. So there is no need to um, adapt your application containers. The one agent will also take care of autom automated uh, distributed transaction tracing. And Dynatrace is also um, an AI-based solution, and it will help you uh, with analyzing the root cause of problems. So in order uh, to deploy the one agent on your OpenShift platform, for instance, Dynatrace um, provides uh, great support. So we announced yesterday that we are um, one of the very first partners of Red Hat to have an operator in place. So the one agent operator allows you to manage Dynatrace one agent deployments. Um, so it allows you to roll out the one agent um, onto specific nodes only. So this allows you, um, allows you to, to control one agent deployment in a fine-grained way. And what is um, a great value add of the one agent operator is that it will take care uh, of updating the one agent automatically as soon as a new version of the one agent gets available. So the one agent operator ensures uh, that all your monitoring, um, so that monitoring of your OpenShift cluster works with the latest one agent version. So if you um, want to check out the one agent operator, so we do have uh, a great blog post around that online. Um, and we also have a GitHub repository available where you can also have a closer look at the source code, uh, at the implementation of the one agent operator. And you can also use the GitHub repository to get in touch uh, with us. And if you um, have further questions to, to start a discussion around that. Uh, and speaking of further questions, so we are um, happy uh, to give you a demo of uh, the Dynatrace monitoring support at our booth 417. We also do have the one agent operator running there. And um, you can also check out Dynatrace for your own uh, cloud environment as well. And, um, get a 15-day free trial of Dynatrace because, you know, life without monitoring is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you get. So that's all from my side so far. Um, thank you for your attention and have a nice afternoon. Mm -hmm.